Hey everyone, Christian here from Rise Digital, where we make companies more productive with Google Workspace. And in today's video, I'm going to provide the answer to one of the most common questions that I get about Google Workspace. And that is, how do I fix audio issues with Google Meet? Now, once in a while, when somebody's logging into Google Meet for the very first time, or perhaps they're an existing user who's logging into Google Meet for the first time from a new computer or device, they'll encounter um, issues with Google Meet Audio where other participants can't hear them, or maybe they can't hear other participants. Either way, there's lots of videos out there on the internet on how to fix issues like this, but I checked them out and they all address one or two of the potential causes of this type of problem. But in this video, I'm gonna dive deep into all of the things that you can do to resolve your Google Meet audio issues once and for all. So by the end of this video, your Google Meet audio issues will be a thing of the past. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull up my Google Meet call so that you can follow along as I tell you how to address the issues that you might encounter with your Google Meet calls from time to time. So the first thing that I'll point out once you can see my Google Meet call is this little button down here. And this is gonna sound so simple and that's because it really is. But once in a while, when we log into a Google Meet call, we may accidentally hit the button that uh, results in us being muted when we enter the call. Or it might have hit it um, afterwards by accident or it could be just the default when we log in. Either way, you want to look down in the bottom of the Google Meet screen and look for the microphone button. And you can mute yourself or unmute yourself very quickly and easily by clicking this button here. So when it's red, you're muted. And as you can see, my picture in the center of the screen is no longer vibrating when I talk. But when I click that button again, I unmute myself. Of course, there's also an option to use a keyboard shortcut to mute and unmute yourself. It's Command D on a Mac computer, or I believe it's Control D on a Windows computer. Either way, once you unmute yourself, you should be able to see your um, profile picture vibrating, or most commonly, if you have your video camera turned on, then up in the top right here, you can look and you'll see three little audio waves up in the very top right there. And those little audio waves will vibrate when you speak to let you know that Google Meet can hear you, okay? Now this is to res the first line of defense of uh, resolving an issue where other participants in the call can't hear you. But what if you can't hear other participants? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you'll want to go over to this show everyone button. And when you click the show everyone button, you'll see a list of all the participants in the call. And of course, you see my name twice here. Um, the one with the bracket U is the instance that I'm using right now. But this other Christian Newman is um, myself logged into this call from another device. And of course, you can see here that that other device is unmuted. And while I can't necessarily unmute somebody on their behalf, what I can do is I can use my voice to say, hey, Christian, you're muted. Can you please unmute yourself? or if they can't hear me, I can also go into the chat function and type in a quick message to say, hey, Christian, you're on mute, and that would prompt them to unmute themselves. Now, what if you've covered all of these bases, you've made sure that you're not muted, and you've made sure that the other participants in the call aren't muted either. The next thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to dive into the Google Meet settings, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Down in the bottom right of the corner uh, of the screen here, you'll see a more options button. And when you hit more options, then you'll see an option called settings. And that will open up a dialog box with your Google Meet settings in it. And you'll see two options on the left, audio and video. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the audio button there, which it defaulted to in the first place. And in the middle of the dialog box, you'll see two options, microphone and speakers. And this is where we want to go to make sure that Google Meet knows which microphone we want it to listen to and which speakers 
we want it to use to broadcast the audio coming from the other participants in the call. So under microphone, I can hit the drop down menu here and I'll see a number of selections, uh, various microphones that are plugged into my device or built in like the internal microphone that I'm using right now. I also have a microphone, a USB microphone that I'm using to record this video. I also have a webcam attached and that has a built in microphone and there's a virtual microphone associated with the recording software that I'm using. You could also see microphones that are plugged in through the headset jack and you can also see microphones um, associated with Bluetooth uh, headphones that you might be wearing and have connected to your device at the time. So once we've identified and seen our microphone on the list here that we want to use, we'll simply click on that. And the next thing we want to do is test that microphone to make sure that Google Meet can hear us. And if Google Meet can hear us, then other participants on the call should be able to hear us as well. And what we want to do is look on the right hand side of the selection that we made. And again, we'll see those audio waves. And as long as they're vibrating when we talk, then we know that we're good to go. Next on the list here is speakers. And under speakers, you will again see a list of selections. Um, you'll see uh, Bluetooth headsets that are plugged into your computer. You'll see the internal speakers that are built in and possibly some other devices as well. Either way, all we want to do here is we want to select the speakers that we want Google Meet to use so that we can hear other participants and we hit the test button. Once you hit the test button, you'll hear that ringtone and you'll know again, you're good to go. You can hear whatever Google Meet is broadcasting to you. Once we've got all of this squared away, we know we've selected the right microphone and Google Meet can hear us and we know we've selected the right speakers and we can hear Google Meet, then we can go back to our call and continue um, uh, with the other participants. But what happens if we don't see um, the right options here or we see the right options and we still um, aren't, aren't getting in re any results? Well, the next thing that we can do is we can look into our system preferences. And once we um, open up our system preferences on our device, then we can go to the sound section. And once we go to the sound section, we're going to see some options across the top. We want to start with input, that's for microphone. Once we've selected input, we'll see a list of all the microphones that are available on our system. And again, we can just make sure that we have selected the correct one. Okay, so in this case, I'm using my uh, USB microphone to record this uh, video. And you can see down here on the input level, similar to the audio waves in Google Meet, my computer can hear me. So as long as we're selecting the same microphone on this place as we chose in Google Meet and vice versa, then we should know that everything is in sync and that our Google Meet can hear our system and our system can hear our microphone. Once we've got that squared away, we can go over to output. And again, we can just make sure that we've selected the speakers that we want to hear, whether that's the internal speakers that are built into our computer, although I don't recommend that because that can result in audio feedback, or more likely we'll select the speakers that are associated with our headset that we're wearing. So again, once that's squared away and we've selected the right input and output devices at the system level, then we'll go back into Google Meet and we'll be able to, again, select the corresponding devices here and test them out. And then once they're working, go back to our call. Now, what happens if we're still not getting any results? Perhaps there's an issue where you didn't see the device that you want to use on the drop down menu here, um, or perhaps um, you didn't see the device that you want to use in your system preferences, okay? Then we need to take some other action. If we haven't seen the device that we want to connect to in our system preferences, that we want to make sure that we connect that device to our system. And that can be as simple as unplugging it and plugging it back in, or if it's a Bluetooth headset, disconnecting it from the system and then reconnecting it to the system 
at which time we should see it reappear in this screen here, uh, either under output or input. And then, of course, we can see it appear in Google Meet as well. But there may be an instance where you encounter a situation that you see it selected at the system level, but it's still not appearing in Google Meet as an option for you. Don't worry, we've got the answer to that too. Okay, if we go into Google Chrome and we hit the menu button in the top right hand corner and go to settings, then a settings window will open up here. Okay, and where we want to go is we want to go to privacy and security on the left hand side. And then under privacy and security, we'll see site settings. And under site settings, we can scroll down and we'll see some permissions for location, camera, and microphone. And this is where we want to go to make sure that Google Chrome has permission to access the microphone that you want to use in Google Meet. We click on microphone there and you'll see a drop down menu with a list of different microphones available, very similar to the list that we saw in Google Meet before. Now, if we can see that the microphone that we want to use is listed on this list in Google Chrome settings, then we can go ahead and select that microphone and we can look at the list of sites that are listed under both block and allow. If we see Google Meet listed under block, then we can hit the little arrow next to it and we can go in and unblock it so that then Google Meet will be able to access our microphone. How could it have been blocked, you might ask? Well, the first time that we visit Google Meet, a pop-up should appear on our screen that would ask us whether we want to allow or block Google Meet from accessing our microphone. Perhaps we hit block by accident and that's how it can end up in this list here. Perhaps as well, we dismissed that uh, pop-up by accident, in which case it won't have access to uh, Google, or Google Meet won't have access to our microphone. But in my case here, under the allow list, I do see Google Meet does have allow privileges, and I can even click into Google Meet, and I can see all the various permissions that it has, and make sure that my microphone is set to allow, and that my camera, of course, is set to allow as well. Once I've done that, I'm good to go. But there could be one more issue. What if under the microphone drop down box, you still don't see the microphone that you want to use? Or perhaps you don't see any microphones at all? Well, then we need to go back to our system preferences once again. We go back to our system preferences. I'm going to get out of the sound section and I'm actually going to go to the security and privacy section to make sure that our computer or our system is giving Chrome permission to access our microphone. Once I click into security and privacy, I'm going to see four different options across the top of the window here, and I'm going to click on the privacy button. Once I click on the privacy button, I'm going to see a number of options down the left, various things that um, applications request access to, and I'm going to click on microphone. When I click on microphone, I should see an option in here for Google Chrome. And I want to make sure that there's a check in the box next to Google Chrome to make sure that Google Chrome has access or permission to access my microphone. Once I've done that, then I should see the um, option for my microphone listed in the privacy, keys, privacy and security section of Google Chrome settings right here. If I'm using a different um, application to access Google Meet, like for example, Safari browser, likewise, I just wanna make sure that Safari has permission to access the microphone as well. Once I make sure that there is permission for the application in question to access my microphone, then I can go back into Google Chrome settings, select the microphone that I wanna use, Make sure that Google Meet has permission to access that microphone and then go back to my Google Meet call in the settings section in under audio and select the microphone that I want to use and 
test it using the little audio sound waves right there. Once I've done that, I can back out of my call and I can look at my avatar up in the top right hand corner and make sure that when I speak, I see those audio waves vibrating and that will tell me that Google Meet can hear me and other participants on the call can hear me as well. So that's it. I know that was a lot. We went through three or four different things that we can do to resolve our audio issues in Google Meet. But once you've done all of these things, rest assured your audio issues in Google Meet will be solved once and for all. I really appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. Uh, if you're still stuck and you're still having any issues, make sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what the problem is that you're experiencing and I will do my very best to help. And if you've liked this video, make sure to hit like, uh, subscribe, follow, connect with me, whatever, to make sure that you don't miss any other future videos from me and the team at Rise Digital. So thanks very much for watching. Um, may you enjoy all of your Google Meet calls from now on, audio issue free, and I look forward to producing more videos to help you get the most out of Google Workspace.